Welcome to DVCOM Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you task number 14 and 15. And let's go and see it here. So as I told you, in previous lab, I showed it to you how to enable the Linkus client and how to log into the Linkus client. So in case if you want to download the Linkus client, just copy this URL into your browser. Now you can able to see here, there is a Windows version and Mac version. You just download this. Then after that, you can able to install it. It's a few clicks, you can able to install it. This is what you can able to do it. Then second one is that configuration backup. So to take the configuration backup, it's very simple. Let's close this window and log into your PBX. Then click login. Then after that, go to the maintenance. Then if you see here, there is a backup and restore. So simply you can click on backup, then click save. Now you can able to see here, the backup is ready to download. Then click on download. Then it will ask you where you want to store. You can select it. Otherwise simply click OK. Then by default, it's going to store it in your download folders. If you want, you can keep it in any separate folder. That's not a problem. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show it to you other task as well. Let's go and do the factory reset. So for the factory reset, what you can do, you can able to do the hard reset or you can able to do the soft reset. So now I'm going to show it to you the soft reset. To do a soft reset, let's go to the reset. Then after that, if you see here, you can able to select all this reset all, reset IP, reset CDR, and recording files, reset backup files, reset prompts, reset other system settings, which means it's like a, it's going to erase all the data and your configurations and all you are going to lose it. It's like a factory default. Then click factory reset. Then after that, it will ask you the verification code. Then type here 9D, D, sorry, 9D, capital D, and capital M. Then after that, click factory reset. So it's going to take some time guys. Hardly it's going to take five minutes. So I'm going to pause my video and make sure that what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change my IP address also. You know that once it's going to the factory reset, you know the default IP address is 192.168.5.150. So it will go back to my previous settings. So what I'm going to do now, Let's go and change the IP address of that. Let's go to run and type ncpa.cpl. Then after that, go to my LAN. Then after that, TCP IP version 4. Then I'm going to select as 192.168.5.10. Now click OK, say OK, then close. Now what I'm going to do guys, I just want to keep continuous ping ping ifnt 192.168.5.150 so once it's come back with the factory reset then i can able to see the ping so now see here it's pinging now so wait for some time because still it's going to complete the complete reset it's going to take some time once it's come back then i'm going to log in back again and i'm going to restore my backup so i'm going to pause my video at the moment now let's go and check whether i can able to x my pbx or not with my default IP which is 192.168.5.150 there you go then the default username is admin and default password is password then click login so once you log in as I told you you can see here it's like a brand new so I'm going to select I have read and agree to the above agreement then click confirm now what I'm going to do I'm going to skip this wizard then after that, I want to restore my old configuration. So for that, what I'm going to do, let's go to the maintenance. Then after that, you can see here, there is a backup and restore. Now what you can do now, you can get the backup first. Then after that, what you can do, you can able to restore it as well. So now let's go and see here. So if you want to take the backup of this, you can able to do it now.
I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Actually, you need to click on the upload. Then after that, you can see here, there's a choose file. Just click on that. By default, it's there in my downloads, which is this. Then after that, you can click open. Then say upload. So it's going to upload into your PBX. Now you can see here. Now what you can do, you can able to restore this. So click on the restore. Then after that, it's asking the existing whatever configurations are there. It's going to erase and it's going to take it from your backup file. Is it fine for you or not? All the configurations are done. Yes. So it's going to take in some time again. So just a minute. So now what I'm going to do now, I already initiated, so I need to change the IP address as I know that. Let's click on reboot, say yes. It's going to take some time. So let's go and change the IP address. As you know that the IP address for your PBX is 10.5. So let's go back here and you can select 10.5 or 10.10, .10, I can give it to that, that's fine. Say OK, say close. Now, let's keep the continuous ping to your old PBX. There you go. Still not yet come. So I don't want to pause my video here. Yeah, let's see here. Now, the configurations are going to come back now. So wait for some time. It's going to take hardly one minute. There you go. So the PBX is going to reboot and after that it's going to come back. So we need to wait for some time. Now see here, still I can see that IP address which is the old IP address. I mean, it's a default IP. So now what I'm going to do, I'll try with 192.168.10.5. So wait for a few seconds. Now you can able to see here. Now enter the username admin and try to give password. The default one, it doesn't accept. If you click login, it will say it's an invalid username and password. So let's use that old password. Then click login. This is what we have seen, how to take the backup and how to do the factory reset and how to, conf how to restore your configuration. So basically, if you follow all these videos, you can able to do it, you can able to implement by yourself. Thank you for watching. For sales, please send us an email, sales at datawise.com.